The next uh, presentation is by Dr. Osman Balkar from the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, IITA, Nigeria. And he's going to talk about drought tolerant cowpea lines derived through okay. Okay. marker assisted recurrent selection. Uh, there has been significant amount of work in IITA uh, commenced by Dr. B.B. Singh. Uh, some of you may remember in this area as well. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Siddiq. Uh, I am going to, my name is Usman Bukara Said, and I am standing here on behalf of my colleagues, both from IITA and the University of California, Riverside. And uh, before proceeding, I would like to take this opportunity to present my institute, which is the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, mostly located in Nigeria, in different sub-regions, but working particularly on cassava, uh, maize, uh, yam, plantain, soybean, and of course, cowpea. So cowpea actually is an important grain legume uh, adapted and grown in the tropics and subtropics. This provides protein, vitamin, and micronutrients to millions of people, and its sources of uh, nutritious nutritious uh, fodder for remnant, and also in the region that there is no other cash crop, is a really a source of income for rural population. Uh, this is just to flash out the importance of coffee in sub-Saharan Africa, and uh, more of 90% of the productions are grown in Africa, particularly in West Africa on uh, about 95 or 97% of the area under cowpea cultivation. And most of the uh, constraints in cowpea include both biotic and abiotic stresses. Uh, despite the fact that uh, cowpea's adaptation to drought prone area, uh, its yield is actually affected by drought. And the objective of our study was to enhance drought tolerance in improved cowpea breeding lines using marker assisted the current selection. Uh, we have crossed two elite lines, uh, IT 80S, 84S2246 by IT 98K1111-1. The first variety was uh, early, uh, is a early variety, uh, early maturing variety, drought tolerant, and the second variety is mostly striker resistant, but also heat tolerant. We have followed followed the uh, marker system consisting mostly on, as you know, uh, consisting mostly on population development, uh, future recombination line development. And we have screened uh, 300 uh, F3, F4 derived lines. R7, like I was mentioned, we have two QTL related to yield under drought. The, the phenotypic data was collected under heavy drought. And we have also five uh, uh, QTL related to stay green. And those are having on both the parent, the, uh, the, allele, the positive allele coming from both the parents. So those plant, uh, plant that had uh, the, uh, the seven QTLs were advanced to F9, and we have identified about 160 uh, mass derived lines, and we tested them with three uh, checks over three locations in our uh, two agro, uh, agroecological zone. That is uh, Minjibir, that is Sudan Savannah, and Shikadat, and Northern Sudan Savannah. And all we are targeting are terminal drought. So uh, here, the figure here represents uh, the uh, grain yield average over these three uh, locations. Here we have the parents. The two parents are here. And as you can see, there are about more than uh, 30 to 40 
land that were higher than the half grain yield, higher than the best parent that was used in the study. Here is the same data, but summarizing the top 12 lines. And uh, as you can see, we have a line, those 12 lines has more than 1.5 ton per kilogram per hectare. And you can see those, uh, the best line here has only one ton per hectare. And I can, I put also that those lines have also showed a good level of fodder yield. That is one of the characteristics that are very important for the farmers. Under also the drought area, we have also tried to uh, study the number of uh, aborted pot per pedoncule. And we have the best parent that is heat tolerant because this thread is mostly associated with heat tolerance. And the best parent, uh, parent that was high yield tolerant is here. And we can see that there are several lines that have also good heat tolerance in that set of uh, QTL lines. But we have also noticed that uh, uh, our, there is a negative correlation between port yield and uh, number of aborted lean. So to conclude my study, uh, I am just wanted to mention here that uh, the marker assisted recurrence selection confirms and uh, the identification and selection of several of genomic uh, region involved in the expression of drought tolerance in a, within a single population, and that there were at least 11 uh, lines that ha had 40% uh, grain yield increase above the beta parent and 20% more than the best checks. And the, these uh, superior lines are going to be included in what we call a coordinated yield trial for their potential release in Nigeria. So uh, this uh, work was uh, actually started with the generation, with tropical legume ones funded through the generation talent program by Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And we had that support of the USAID and University of California and all those colleagues are here are part of the study and I would like to acknowledge their involvement. Thank you.